I have uh, another very, very special award to give to uh, a young man whose life was tragically cut short in the shootings in Tunisia in June. Joel Richards was a passionate Walsall fan and he dedicated his life to sport. As Ben Godfrey reports. One of the best things I did is my first year at refereeing, rather than, because I knew I wanted to go from 11 side football to open age football, rather than doing such a big step up, I just ran a year doing the line on open age football. I learned that much in that short space of time, so it can be really beneficial. Joel Richards was destined, say friends, to become one of the country's top football referees. Joel had everything, all the attributes that you would look for. He would put himself out to go and pick people up, to arrange events, to, to raise money for other people, and that was just the character of the man. A 19-year-old with a maturity beyond his years. Ask as many questions as possible, you know, be eager, get involved, be engaged. This film for the FA was made in May. A month later, Joel, his uncle Adrian and grandfather Patrick were killed in the terrorist atrocity in Seuss in Tunisia. Family photos show the boy from Wensbury become the man. It's no coincidence, Joel is always on a football pitch. The grassroots game is thriving in Birmingham, thanks in part to Joel, who set up the county's FA Youth Council to promote the sport to children. Working with Joel was great. It was such an inspiration and a great person to be around. He always put everyone else before himself. Um, if he was struggling with any, any of the projects that we'd been given, any of the targets we needed to hit, he was always there supporting us throughout all of it. Whether it was football, cycling or wheelchair basketball, Joel hit the target at the University of Worcester. He was heading for a first class degree in PE and sports coaching science. Joel was an extremely hard-working student, very enthused about grassroots level, so he really did look at the whole spectrum of teaching, so I think he would have been an, a fantastic teacher, but ultimately he was an excellent coach too. Joel's friends told me they miss his infectious personality, his smile and his ability to lead, whether on a pitch or in the student house. He was the cleverest in the house, everyone knew that. He was one, probably one of the most cleverest in the uni. Almost we called him like the, the dad of the house, like he'd know what we needed to do. So when it came to lectures and everything, he pushed us just to be that bit better. And he, he got my grades up and I'm sure he got grades up of a lot of people around him as well. Joel's weekends were crammed with family, friends and football. And there was no more special a place than here, Warsaw's Banks' Stadium, where three generations of one family celebrated their shared love of the game. Joel's family contacted BBC Midlands today to highlight his remarkable achievements in grassroots sport. Joel's mum, Suzanne, said the community, as well as his friends and family, have lost so much. In 19 years, he gave more to the sports community than most will ever do. And Joel's brother Owen said, even to do a fraction of the work for others he did, even to be a fraction of the person he was, would be an honour. Ben Godfrey reporting, a terrific tribute indeed. And uh, to collect the award is Joel's brother Owen, who we saw in that report, Thanks. and uh, mum Susie as well. Now, this thing about refereeing, it's not the obvious sporting career that most young men want to go into, is it? So how did that all come about for Joel? Um, it was, he, was ref he was playing football in goal um, until he was 16, and then he realised that he wasn't really going to go much <laughs> further with that. So our uncle Aid, um, Adrian introduced him to a refereeing course, and granddad would take him on the evenings, and he sort of started from there, really, and he just got better with it. And the nomination that you wrote uh, for Joel was incredible. I mean, he clearly is your hero. Yeah, he's my role model, really. He's like the person who you want to strive to be. And, and inspiring other people to get involved in sport. I mean, we saw in that report there from Ben Godfrey that not only was he terrific at sport, but he was, he was pretty clever as well, wasn't he? He was pretty good at college. Yeah, he, he worked hard in whatever he did, whether that was sports, uh, physically or mentally, as in his academics. And Mum Susie, at what age did you realise that Joel had, had a real knack for sport? Um, from about sort of 10 upwards, really. Um, he got into football um, and just loved it, just, just thrived at it, he really enjoyed it. And it seems that everybody he met, he touched in some way and really matured beyond his years and his passion for sport shone through. Yeah, he, he was really, really special. Um, and I think if, if you knew Joel personally, you'd know where I'm, why I'm saying that. And he was just, 
he was just infectious. He was just lovely, really nice. We miss him so much. So, Owen, are you going to take up this, this refereeing thing, or do you prefer to be on the pitch as a player? Um, no, I think I'm going to follow in his footsteps, yeah. just try and be like Joel. Brilliant. OK. Well, thank you very much indeed to both of you uh, for being with us this evening. I think they both deserve a round of applause. <laughs>